Hi, this is the Balkan Architect and in this video I will show you how can you model this interesting stair in Revit. So this is just an elegant stair I found on the internet and I thought it would be an interesting challenge to try to model it in Revit. So I'm just going to go to the architectural template and first thing I'm going to do is to set the units. So I'm just going to go UN for units and I'm going to choose centimeters. I prefer to work in centimeters and now I'm just going to model a regular stair to use as a template. So I'm just going to choose this here from level 1 to level 2 and I'm just going to change this to monolithic stair and for the desired, desired number of steps I'm going to choose an even a number so 22 and here I'm going to type in like something like 30 centimeters and go apply okay and now let's draw the stair. I'm going to keep it at one meter. So when I start going, you can see below we have numbers basically saying how many steps we have and how many we have remaining. So I'm just going to go till the point it says 11 modeled and 11 remaining and then I'm going to create 11 more. And maybe I'm just going to move this a bit closer. Okay, that looks about right. So I'm just going to check out of that one and I'm just going to remove the railing because we don't need it. And now I'm just going to create a wall around this staircase because we do need a supporting wall for this type of stair. So I'm just going to do something like this and then just align it to the stairs. you don't have to lock it in place because the stairs will be deleted afterwards. Okay, now I'm going to go to south elevation and here we have our stairs. So I'm just going to go here and put this to fine and I'm going to go to graphic display options and turn on the transparency at let's say at 50% and the reason why I did that is so I can see these steps over here. You can see this is one step there. Okay, now once I've done that, to model the actual stairs, we're going to be using the roof command. It might be a little contraintuitive, but I'm going to explain why is this the most efficient way to do it. So I'm just going to go to roof by extrusion and to set the plane, this is basically the vertical plane in which you're placing the roof profile. I'm going to select the first step and let's align it with level 1 and go OK. And here for the roof type, I'm going to create a new roof and I'm just going to choose some material. Wait just a second, go duplicate, call this stair. OK, and for structure, I'm just going to type in five or maybe four centimeters and for the material I'm just going to go with some wood material. Let's just keep it simple with this wood flooring or maybe this. Yeah, this looks nice. Go apply. OK. OK. And OK once again. OK, now we have the roof that's called stair and let's adjust model it. So I'm just going to use this pick lines tool. So I'm going to pick this line, this line over here, and then I'm just going to draw a line connecting it. And then using the fillet arc tool, I'm just going to fillet this here and this here. And let's set it to something even like maybe, I don't know, 20. And here 20 as well. And now when I click OK, and I'm just going to extrusion and I'm going to change it to minus 30 because that's our length of our step. And now when I go into 3D, you can see we have the first and the final step. Now the reason I did it uh, like a roof extrusion is because it's a lot easier than to create an extrusion in maybe, I don't know, mo model in place family because we only need to create one line we don't need to create multiple lines or basically the whole 
footprint of the extrusion and we can also change the thickness of this stair whenever we want just by changing this roof type. So I'm just going to go back to south elevation and I'm, I'm just going to model everything else. So this is quite repetitive so I'm just going to speed it up and play some music in the back. Okay, and as you can see, our staircase is done. Uh, this one is a bit too long. Let's change it to minus 30. Okay, I guess I messed a couple of them up. Okay, now it looks just right. And now you can select your original staircase and just delete it. And there you go. Let's turn on some realistic yeah and that's pretty much it so that's how you can model just this funny interesting flowing staircase in Revit and it's quite easy to make when you're using roofs and now if I go into edit type and maybe change this to two centimeters maybe make it a lot thinner go apply you can see it's quite easy to change when we have modeled it like this Okay, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this video. It helps me out a lot. And if you have any suggestions for further tutorials, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Have a nice day.